a vertical electric field of magnitude 4 into 10 to the power 5 newton per coulomb just prevents a water droplet of mass 1 into 10 to the power minus 4 kg from falling. Find the charge on the droplet. So, suppose this is droplet, field is upward. So, there will be force QE in upward direction and its weight will be mg in downward direction. The two will be in equilibrium. So, we can say that QE equal to mg. Here, Q is to be found and electric field is given as 4 into 10 to the power 5 and mass is given as 1.0 into 10 to the power minus 4 times value of G, let's take 9.8 meter per second square. So our concern is to get Q. So that will be equal to 10 to the power minus 4 into 9.8 divided by 4 into 10 to the power 5. So if we simplify, we will get Q equal to 2.45 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb. Let's see next question. Three charges equal in value plus Q are placed on three corners of a square upside A so here each side of square is A and these are the charges. Find the electric field at the fourth corner due to these charges. We have to find out electric field here due to these three charges. So here distance BD will be A root 2 whereas CD and this. AD will be A. So let's find out electric field due to charge Q at point D. So it will be in this direction. Suppose it is E1. So E1 will be equal to Q divided by 4 pi epsilon dot A square and its direction is shown. Now let's find out E2. E2 will be electric field due to this charge, charge at C. So it is in this direction and its magnitude will be same because this side is same. This is also A. So Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught times A square. And then we find E3 due to this charge. So E3 will be equal to Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught and this distance is a root 2 which will give 2a square. Now these two fields are equal and uh, are at a right angle so their resultant will be equal to e root 2 and uh, they will be along e3 and uh, this so if we evaluate this value e root 2 for the resultant of E1 and E2. So that will be Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught A square times root 2. And the total electric field at point D will be equal to sum of E3 plus this resultant due to E1 and E2. So E net will be equal to E3 plus E root 2. So E3 equal to Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught times 2A square plus Q root 2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught A square. Now, if we simplify, we will get Q upon 8 pi epsilon naught A square times 2 root 2 plus 1, which will be our answer. Now, let's put the next question. Here, a charged particle of mass 1 gram is suspended through a silk thread. This point of suspension, here the charged particle is there. Of length 40 centimeter, OM is 40. In horizontal electric field of 4 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per coulomb. 
10 to the power 4 newton per coulomb in this direction. If the particle stays at a distance of 24 centimeter from the wall, so this distance Nm is 24 centimeter, find the charge on the particle. So we have to find out what is charge on this particle. So since field is in this direction, so force on charged particle will be QE in this direction. And here, this is tension. So let's find out, suppose this angle is theta. So T cos theta will balance the weight mg. So T cos theta equal to mg. And T sin theta will be force. So T sin theta equal to QE. Now, if we divide the two, so what do we get? So we can write here, charge is to be determined and electric field is given. So let's divide the two, T sine theta divided by T cos theta will be equal to QE divided by mg. So TT will cancel out tan theta equal to QE upon mg. And from here, from the figure, this angle is theta, and this is 40, this is 24. So we can write this is base upon hypotenuse, base upon hypotenuse equal to 24 divided by 40, 8, 3, 8, 5. Sir. It means this will be Pythagorean triplet and this side will be 32 or in the ratio we can write it in uh, like in terms of ratio if we write. So this will be if this is 3, this is 5, this will be 4 and this angle is theta. So here tan theta can be found. So tan theta will be perpendicular upon base. So 4 by 3 equal to Q times electric field, which is given as 4 into 10 to the power 4 divided by mass of the particle is given 1 gram. So 1 into 10 power minus 3 into G. G is 9.8. So this is Q. So our concern is to get Q. So Q will be equal to, Q equal to this much, 4 by 3 times 10 power minus 3 into 9.8 divided by 4 into 10 to the power 4. So if we evaluate it, we will get 1.8 into 10 to the power, 10 to the power minus 7 coulomb. And uh, that will be our answer. Thank you for watching.